Whether it's a trip to your regular doctor or a visit to the hospital, there's a chance you may need some lab work. Depending on the test, your specimen can go to either anatomic or clinical pathology. The difference? Clinical laboratory specimens are such things as blood and body fluids. The anatomic specimens are going to be specimens which are primarily revolve around testing tissue. Martha Jefferson pathologist Dr. Hunt McMillan explains the life of an anatomic specimen. This is where it starts. Each specimen gets a unique accession number based on the patient's name and date of birth. This will allow technicians to track your specimen throughout its journey in the lab. From check-in, it goes to a place called the Gross Laboratory. And this is where the, the tissue in its fresh and fixed state is examined by the pathologist and the physician's assistant. This physician's assistant is slicing a sample to prepare it for the next step, sitting in a special preservation chemical. Next, it moves to this processor. It essentially removes the water from the tissue and replaces the water with wax. Eight hours later, the wax will embed or harden, forming a block that will be cut on this machine. And create a very thin slice of tissue that can be placed on a glass slide, stained with vital stains, and basically creates a, a, a glass slide that can be examined microscopically. A slide that Dr. McMillan can look at under a microscope. What he sees on the screen often helps other physicians come up with a diagnosis. We are often referred to as a doctor's doctor. True, we don't often have face-to-face -face contact with the patient but we have daily and very frequent contact with the physicians who are caring for the patient. Although you may never meet some of the people on your health care team, folks in the lab are taking special steps to make sure you have the medical information you need to make decisions about your health. Stephanie Satchel, CBS 19 News.